When the rain is blowing in your face And the whole world is on your case I could offer you a warm embrace To make you feel my love When the evening shadows and the stars From the moment that we met No doubt in my mind where you belong I'd go hungry, I'd go black and blue I'd go crawling down the avenue No, there's nothing that I The song, the song does go on from there. I'm just going to play that first part of it, though, um, because despite its being out of the time sequence for the listening responses that you're about to do, uh, it has some elements. In particular, it has elements of form that I hope when you listen to it, um, kind of through the lens of this course, you'll find that it has something in common. It's, of course, that's a Bob Dylan song. Um, Actually, I think I hear a little bit of objection there. Most of you might have been thinking of Adele, but um, of course Adele made that song a little bit more famous than it already was, but it's a song off of uh, Bob Dylan's album from the 90s, Time, Time Out of Mind is the name of the album, and it's a beautiful recording both when Dylan does it and when Adele does it. And uh, if you go back and listen to my performance of it again, or Bob Dylan's or Adele's, whatever you want on the web, think about melody, think about form, and see whether you recognize um, how that song takes shape and see if it has anything in common with some of the other songs that I've discussed um, in our lectures so far. And if you can't figure it out soon, um, I'll, give it, I'll give it a little bit of an answer to that at the end of my little spiel here. Um, okay, so um, you've heard me uh, run through a couple of different songs um, and uh, some of them are associated with the Tin Pan Alley playlist. You've heard me play um, uh, The Way You Look Tonight. And we, earlier than that, we heard examples of songs um, like uh, Genie with the right, Light Brown Hair. And those two songs both had an A-A-B-A -A form associated with them. We've got some other forms associated with Tin Pan Alley, including the A-B-A-C form. Uh, if you heard me do my little preview lecture over winter break, or if you saw that um, on email when you were introduced to the class, you saw that I talked about um, the song uh, Baby It's Cold Outside. That's an A-B-A-C form. Uh, the song Always by Irving Berlin is A-B-A-C. Um, let's see, there are some Cole Porter songs that fit that, fit that form. Uh, I'd say that about 10% of the songs in, uh, 10 to 15% of the songs in Tin Pan Alley are A-B-A-C, and about 80% are A-A-B-A, -A, and that leaves a remaining 5% or so that are in some other form, minority sort of, uh, of examples, very small minority of examples that are in um, a more original or um, atypical form, or perhaps it's composed to be quite distinctive. But AABA is the vast majority of the shapes that you're going to hear. So uh, one example of an AABA form, although it's not typical, is the this one should be familiar to some of you, although um, you might have heard different versions of it. It's, um, it's the one that goes somewhere. The second A begins here. Somewhere over the rainbow, 
skies are blue And the dreams that you dare to dream really do come true So you notice that the melody was the same shape repeated twice and some of you might even think of that as being almost like a very short verse uh, but that's not actually how it would have been thought of in the 1920s and 30s when songs like this were really popular. Those two uh, phrases were like the opening pair of phrases, sometimes a question and answer phrase, although in this case it's much simpler. It's just two phrases very, very similar to one another. The only thing really differentiating those two phrases is their lyrics, and everything else feels like the same shape. <laughs> And then we have something that's contrasted. Someday you'll push upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind. And troubles melt like, where troubles melt like lemon drops away above the chimney tops. That's where you'll find me. And that last, excuse me, that last line. That's where, that's where you'll find me. That's the really unstable part of that B section that I've talked about at the end of some of those other songs, like Genie with the Light Brown Hair. We hear at the end of the B section that real, it's that feeling like we really have to go on. It's like it must resolve. That doesn't feel like the end of the song. That's where you'll find me somewhere. And it really compels us back to the A section. Now, I know I've talked about that a little in some of my other lectures, but I thought I'd give you one more example in case it's familiar. Um, there are some other examples that might be worth thinking about. Um, I'll close with a real Tin Pan Alley, uh, classic Tin Pan Alley, Prisoner of Love today. But before we do that, just look at some really, really, honestly, really simple examples of AABA forms. You might think of the Flintstones. Flintstones, meet the Flintstones. They're the modern stone age, they're the modern stone age family. Um, exact same melody as the second phrase from the town of bedrock they're a page right out of history very similar there's a little bit of a difference you can hear that question family is like a little bit less resolved from they're a page right out of history which is a little bit more so you hear that question and answer and then they sing, uh, let's ride with the family down the street through the courtesy of Fred's two feet. And you could imagine this same kind of chord that's that unstable chord at the end of the bridge in Somewhere Over the Rainbow. You could imagine that going straight back to Somewhere Over the Rainbow. So that same form is happening there. Um, through the, um, I'll do that B section. This is the B section. Let's ride with the family down the street through the courtesy of Fred's two feet. And you know I dream of Jeannie with the light brown hair. It's the same chord demanding that you go back, except for, of course, it's demanding that you go back to when you're with the Flintstones. Have a yabba dabba do time, a dabba do time. We'll have a gay, sorry, gay old time. So I'm not really singing that in the key that I should because I wanted to keep it in the same key as some of the other B-flat songs that I'm playing. Let's listen to maybe a little bit more of a full form. Um, I heard that Lonesome Whistle Blow was on your playlist for the next unit. I'm intentionally going all across the 20th century, all the different um, sort of eras of history here. So um, Hank Williams has a song. It's going gonna, it's gonna to sound a lot like a lot of mid-century. Those of you who like country music or who like early rock and roll, these shapes are going to be really, really common. I was riding number nine, heading south from Caroline. I heard that long, wah, 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 some whistle blow. And he does that wonderful thing when he hits the lonesome. He changes the timbre in his voice to sound like a train whistle. Got in trouble, had to roam. Left my gal and left my home. I heard that long, wah, wah, wah some whistle blow. That's the two A sections. And then see if this sounds familiar. Just a kid acting smart. I went and broke my darling's heart. So does that sound familiar there, that B section that I just played? When I get to that chord, 
It's the same segment. I mean, it's a little bit different in each of the versions, but it's that same feeling of traveling away into kind of a new, into kind of a new perspective that we we heard it all the way back in the very earliest sort of Irish tunes that I gave you had that had this form. When Hank Williams does, just a kid acting smart, I went and broke my darling's heart. I guess I was too young to know. This is very similar to. Um, I know you haven't made your mind up yet. Just a kid acting smart. I know you haven't made your mind up yet. I went broke my darling's heart. I guess I was too young to know. It's the same was no doubt in my mind where you belong. So and also through the courtesy of Fred's two feet, right? Or um, that's where you'll find me. Very similar to I'd go hungry, I'd go black and blue. And Hank Williams sings, They took me off the Georgia main, locked me to a ball and chain. The chords are a little bit different in this in this particular part of it. I heard that long some whistle blow to make you feel my love. So you get in a sense that this way of configuring those melodies um, really connects across a wide variety of uh, our literature and our repertoire in the early part of the 20th century, I hope. Um, I'm not sure I'll be able to make it all the way through this song without some mistakes, but um, this is uh, Prisoner of Love. It's been recorded by Etta James and by uh, singers before her. It wasn't as popular in the 30s when it was written as it became later when Etta James um, covered it to great success and then James Brown to even better success. It shows you a little bit of the sort of um, the longevity of this particular form. And if you read in the Melnick article about that synthesis of a, a Jewish Tin Pan Alley industry um, with uh, black America and its practices that would become important internationally as jazz, you'll see that Melnick talks a little bit about the formula of songwriting and how it seems a little bit industrial, it seems a little bit um, predictable once you really know it as a musician, and yet at the same time it's inspired an incredibly wide variety of creativity across the 20th century. Uh, this is a little bit of an unusual one here. Um, Prisoner of Love. Alone from night to night you find me Thanks for listening, and I hope to see you in office hours tomorrow.